Schwab Tire Center. Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Welcome, everyone. My name is Owen Hayes. You're watching Outdoor GPS. It's Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented to you by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Today, well, it's the 18th of November, and uh, it's not quite the middle of duck season, but it is in full swing. And things are really interesting there. Uh, some good, some bad, but I know a lot of you don't even care about duck hunting. You want to talk about fishing, and today we are. We've got Scott Call from Brad's Killer Fishing Gear. I forgot that earlier. Uh, here in the studio uh, to talk about a bunch of different things. Brad's, from terminal tackle to swag that you can buy online uh, to different products that you can stocking stuff with because believe it or not, it is that time of year. <laughs> uh, lots of really cool things that Brad, uh, Brad's offers you, let alone some of the coolest uh, and most effective gear that we use for salmon and steelhead and, geez, how many other species? All kinds of different species uh, that you can utilize. And, and Scott actually brought one in that I thought was really cool. How you can actually fish a kokanee cut plug, for that matter, any of them, right? Sure. Uh, casting. Now you're going to go, well, how the heck do you cast a, a, a bait like that? Well, we're gonna, you're going to learn that. Uh, and we're going to also show you why you would want to do that uh, as well. So he brought in his setup for that. So we're going to give you a little bit of insight on maybe a different way uh, to fish some of those coconut cut plugs or just the standard size or maybe even whatever it is that you wish to do with it. Right? Just more options uh, from Brad's. And the perfect time, though, going into uh, the Christmas season, this is when, if you're trying to figure out, and we're going to talk a lot about this, right? Going forward up until Christmas, giving you different ideas uh, of, for, the, for that outdoor person uh, in your life, right? If you want to find something to stocking stuff with or uh, terminal gear, you know, baits, whatever it is that they just got to have going forward for, uh, uh, again, winter steelhead or spring chinook, which believe it or not, a lot of people are already asking questions about springers. Stop it. It's November, please, let's just wait. All right, we got a lot going on between now and then, but it is a great topic if you're looking for something for a gift. We're gonna talk about that, of course, with Scott from Brad's. We got some great stuff here from sweatshirts to hats to, I mean, literally, when he walked in, I'm like, I wonder what he thinks his odds are of getting out of here with some of that stuff. <laughs> uh, but at the very least, it'll be a great opportunity to check in with Scott uh, here in the studio live. But as always, we're gonna have my upcoming segment, The Field Report. We're gonna expose something that I feel really kinda, of, well, I guess I'm talking about myself so I can say whatever I want, I'm like an idiot, okay? Green Peter. This past weekend I mentioned that there's options that are out there. There's different things that you can go fishing for. Yes, salmon has been necked down to, other, to areas along the coast primarily, right? Silvers are pretty much done. Never even really had a shot at the B-run silvers. I'm not gonna get into that, I'll get sidetracked. I'll get sidetracked on this topic as well. I had mentioned Green Peter's being an option. Well, that was pretty, pretty dumb on my part because Green Peter doesn't exist. Now, I hope that a lot of you are scratching your head going, what is this guy talking about? They drew it down, there's nothing left. I've got photos uh, of Green Peter with uh, kokanee by the hundreds, floating, dead, in no water, uh, where it merges uh, it, on the Sandy M's, destroyed. And, and, and there's people out there that did this on purpose. It's insane. But we're going to expose that. I'm going to give that, put that out there, uh, as well as give you a, a time and a date where you can get your voice out there, right? If you wish to. Uh, this, this upcoming Monday, we're, we're going to have that info for you. Uh, again, uh, a, a ball dropped on my part, doing the best I can to recover, all right? So we're going to make sure to get that out there. Of course, I'll have my photos and report from this week, chasing birds around, uh, kind of get that out there for those that... <laughs> that care about that, uh, but I know I do. Uh, but we're gonna make sure uh, to have a little insight there, river levels like we always do, and we're gonna check in uh, with Katie Suniga and find out uh, what this weather is. Man, this is a nice rod. Oh, it is an edge rod. Of course. Oh, geez, that was such a, that was a, such a cheap plug, I'm sorry, but they really do. Anyway, uh, then of course we're gonna have uh, the deal of the week from Fisherman's Marine. There's actually a lot going on there, and it kinda, all of this is gonna kinda fall right towards well, I don't know if there's Thanksgiving anymore. It goes from Halloween to Christmas. 
right? Uh, but we're going to give you the insight on that uh, as well. So lots of things that we're going to cover today. Uh, but it looks like we do uh, have a comment uh, from Peter. Uh, Ryan, can I take his call before we do the photos? Uh, Peter is from Portland. Peter, real quickly, sir, I'm just getting a little bit tight on time. Looks like you got a, a question or a comment about licenses. What's going on? Well, first of all, a quick reminder that uh, free fishing day is Friday and clamming and crabbing is Friday and Saturday only this week. Yeah. And um, then I don't know why they don't include Sunday, but anyway. That so next year I'm looking forward to I get to be a, I get my Pioneer's license. You so, made it. Well, so far anyway. But the, uh, I guess the requirements I'm finding now, you have to be 65 years old. In the calendar year, my birthday isn't till October, but I can apply January 2nd to get it in the calendar year. And you have to be an Oregon resident for 50 years. And you've never had to hunt or fish before. So that's kind of nice because the uh, tag, the hunting, fishing, and Columbia River endorsement all included is only 6 bucks. Wow. And then you get a Pioneer Elk tag for, uh, I think it's $26 this year. Very interesting. So I, I kind of missed it there. My hearing is not very good. But you mentioned that you have to be at least 65. How many years did you have to be a resident? Uh, you have to be an Oregon resident for 50 years. 50? And then 50 years, yes. Interesting. That's, I mean, that, they're, put, they're certainly putting the qualifications on there, Peter, aren't they? Yes, they are. Well, very good. Hey, number one, congrats on making it to 65. I hope you make it a lot, lot further. Uh, but great reminder as well for that free fishing weekend, Peter. We appreciate it. And uh, also the heads up on for all those that might be able to qualify for that. I hope that I'm able to. We'll see if I can make it that far. Uh, Peter, again, thank you, sir. Have yourself a great day, okay? Thanks for calling and sharing that. All right, let's show you some photos that everybody's been sending in. There's been a bunch. Uh, again, like I always try to remind you, if you've been sending photos in, uh, just be patient. We get a lot of photos. Uh, they, we show them as we receive them, or at least in order, I should say. So, Ashley, thank you uh, for sending that in. And that is a dandy uh, Chinook, by the way. It looks like a coastal Chinook. Uh, here's a great photo. Who's this? We got... Uh, bear's first hunt. Bear is a big dog. If that's his first hunt, good night. Uh, it's a good looking dog, too, by the way. Thanks for sending that in. Looks like some nice property, too. See the cut corn back? I'm sorry. I see those things and just get sidetracked. Uh, buck down. Now, this will be a photo that they'll put on the wall. Uh, forever. Buck down. Mike, thanks for sending it in. Great photo. Cheating, by the way. Got the little kid in there. Oh, look at that. That's a clean six by six. Nice bull. Uh, sir, dad's bull, um, not my dad, sorry. Uh, looks like the east side of the state, judging by the sage and the countryside. Hoo, 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 tacos, Lake of the Woods. Dave, thanks for sending it in. Some very good options out there for walleye right now as we speak. On the east side of the state, there's another opportunity. I just could not find anyone that's fishing it so we could get a real report on that. But that is a very, very good option for you over there on the east side. Download the Fox 12 app, it's easy. Find out their GPS, scroll down, it'll show you and exactly how to upload your photos and video. And then we will highlight you in our first segment of each and every show. Uh, so please make sure you do so. We'd love to see some video as well, so don't be scared with that. Um, but it is a ton of fun and a great way a little bragging uh, between you and your friends. All right, we're going to cut to a quick break. When we come back, we've got my report segment, right? The field report. We're going to talk about what I've been up to this week. We're going to expose you, or at least give you the info on really a tragedy on Green Peter. I, I mean, I'm going to do this the best I can to not get sidetracked. We'll see how that goes, everyone. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 